it came to my attention that a DJ, and um, I'm not going to say any names because I don't think it's necessary. A DJ basically said that, um, you know, a lot of the pioneers in hip hop are, you know, they're dusty or how can they be the pe person that, um, you know, invented hip hop? If, uh, you know, they don't have a lot of money um, or if they don't look or represent like they have a lot of dough. Right. Let me explain something to you um, and, and, and say this for you guys. Don't confuse someone's ability to develop a business model. Don't conflate. In other words, don't think just because somebody knows how to get money or fails to get money that they didn't make a contribution to the culture. No one discusses Miles Davis's bank account. We don't talk about John Coltrane's bank account. We don't talk about a lot of even rock musicians, a lot of them, we don't talk about their bank accounts. A lot of great country artists, we don't talk about their bank accounts. Um, this idea that you have to have money or else you don't have any value is a bad idea and it's a it's a it's a it's kind of like it's a misinformed way of looking at the world and the culture there are artists out here first of all let me let me let me say this first of all you know like let's talk about like young artists right which who i love i love the young artists let's be clear i'm very much a guy who embraces the young artists i believe in every generation i believe in you i care about you let me say this to you, though. It's always important. It's important. It's important to get money. I agree. I'm all about getting paper. I've been talking about it my whole career. But don't ever, ever, ever confuse being rich with making a contribution to our culture. Don't ever play yourself like that again. Because trust me, you playing yourself. Because without these dudes and these girls who started this hip-hop culture, a lot of the guys that's out there talking tough... You wouldn't even have a career. You'd be, we'd be on the corner with a beer talking about what's the next move we gonna make. So I would say approach this game with humility and be glad and be thankful that these pioneers, you know, these exactly slave mentality, be glad that these pioneers help create this culture and let's show them love. Let's elevate them. Let's celebrate them. That's why I started Rock the Bells. Today, you could come up with your five-year plan, your 10-year plan, your 20-year plan. You can go find a manager. You can find an accountant. You could find somebody that means something to you, um, you know, to help you. You could find a team to help your career go to the next level. When hip-hop first started, there were no managers. There were no accountants that believed in it. Record companies didn't even believe in it. Nobody believed in it. How can you make a five-year plan or a 10-year plan on something that doesn't even exist yet, that people have never even heard of? So just because a couple of these guys and girls and people out here made songs and made music and made contributions to this culture, or even dancers danced and, 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 and put, made these contributions to the culture, just because they didn't get rich, just because they weren't able to pile up millions or billions of dollars does not mean that they didn't make a contribution to this culture. That does not mean that they didn't do something. They created an industry that we all ate off of. They created an industry that you eat off of. When you go out there and you go monetize your brand, when you go monetize your brand, when you go get your, your whatever and do what you got to do to build your career, when you go out there and, and negotiate your deals and negotiate your checks and talk tough, guess what? That money, that bread, that food that you eating was created by those same people that you disrespected. That industry was created by them same people that you call in, you know, foul words, foul language. The, thing, the people that you're referring to. So my thing is this. It's always good. It's always good to get money.
That's why I started this movement. So I wouldn't have to listen to, to foolish rhetoric about people that change the world. These people change the entire world. The whole planet runs on hip hop culture right now. The whole planet, every commercial, every, the, 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 you know, everything you could think of is all about hip hop. And there are people out there that started this thing and I think that they deserve to be honored and respected. I'm gonna leave it right there. I'm not gonna say no names. I'm not gonna say nothing foul. I'm not gonna go at nobody's character. I'm just gonna say, think before you speak. Peace. Dear Uncle LL Cool J, ladies love Cool James. I respect everything you said in your five, almost six minute rant on the internet. Everything you said was on point. The dopest thing that anybody who can be a, considered a legend and a pioneer to any industry, to any game, to any format, to any blueprint could say. However, come. Please realize you are addressing the clown because that boy academic ain't a real DJ. He's a he's a bum with a bunch of following. That boy is a clown. He's a Takashi 6 now stool pigeon boyfriend. You didn't have to address him. But, hey, you said what you said. It needed to be said. It needed to be heard because I know too many dudes. There ain't nobody over the age of 30. And I'm over the age of 30. They can say they saw somebody fail and didn't have nothing to teach Peace and love, brother.